Hello, it's Cairo. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great start to your week. It is Monday evening and I thought we'd try something a little bit different. We're going into a standard event and we're using Sultai Reanimator. This is a brood that I made that's basically there to try to get big expensive nasties into the graveyard and then reanimate them for a cheaper cost and take over the game. I know there are decks out there like that. There are many like it. This one's mine. Haha. Ha. Uh, let's go over the deck list. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It helps me to bring you more content. Thank you very, very much. All right, let's start at the bottom. We have three eye twitches. This is common in mono black control and Orzov control right now. A little bit of fodder that we can sacrifice and learn, grab some lessons, and a chump blocker in the beginning. Same thing with shambling guest. We run four of those. We run two dig up. We don't want them all the time. But if we get them early, I've been impressed with this card because we can go grab, say we have a forest and a, a swamp in our hand. We can go grab a mount or an island. We can go grab whatever we need early. And then in the late game, we can use it to go grab our Tox Roll the Corrosive, our Dreadfast Demon, or our Holebreaker Horror, which is really fun. And you'll see there's one matchup where we don't get any of these. We get something else that you wouldn't expect ends up working out two deadly disputes create a treasure draw a couple cards early sacrificing our eye twitch or shambling ghast four infernal grasps we need this as instant speed removal somebody drops a hole breaker horror on us somebody powers up a huge green D, D land to come at us we need to be able to take that out we take out our opponent's big threats with these so that way they can't gain an advantage on us meat hook massacre four of for our board wipe Old Stick Fingers. This guy overperformed. I was actually very pleased with him. Uh, we haven't... I haven't ever used this creature before, but it's a legendary creature horror. And whenever he comes in, you can mill X... I'm sorry, reveal cards from the top of your library until X creature cards are revealed. And you put all those creatures into the graveyard, put the rest on the bottom, so you don't lose the other ones. Power and toughness are equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard, which we want to have creatures in our graveyard because we're a reanimator deck. We bring this bad boy out maybe on turn four, say our eye twitch or shambling ghast are already dead. So we play X for two, mill a couple more creatures. It's a four, four. Kind of hard to deal with while adding to your graveyard. Skullport Merchant, awesome for sacrificing creatures, drawing cards. Also ramps a little bit because it makes a treasure when it comes in. Centric Farmer is sort of like Stick Fingers, but not quite as good. This is a common card, but it's a 2 3 for 3. You can mill 3 cards, return a land from your graveyard to your hand. Speaking of lands, we have Agadim's Awakening. We run 2 of them if we want to bring back a bunch of stuff. That's the name of the game for us. 2 Behold the Multiverse. We don't want a ton of card draw, but we do want it sprinkled in here and there, but we want it cheap. So if we can foretell this, that's great. Paired with Deadly Dispute, that's 4 cards that that draws cards at uh, instant speed, plus we have a little bit of utility from Merchant here. Diagraph Rebirth is our meat and potatoes of our uh, reanimation spell. I kicked around the idea of using Haunting Voyage with the four drop enchant or artifact from Kaldheim that makes everything a changeling and just like bringing everything back at once, but that was a little overkill and it was a little bit too janky. I think this has the ability to be competitive. So Rebirth, you can do it for five, bring back a big creature, which is already efficient, getting back these seven drops. But if you go into combat, attack with a few things, let them block and kill a few things, this can become a lot cheaper. Plus you can flash this back. So say your whole breaker dies, you can bring it back. Dies again, you can bring it back. Um, we do have whole breaker horror. We can flash this in, ambush some people, uh, as you guys know with Is It Epiphany, if you've played Is It Epiphany at all, this is just an absolute killer. Uh, once it's on the board, we cast spells, we bounce things, you know. Dreadfeast Demon, really, really cool. Especially if you go dig it up, you play it, you have a couple of chaff creatures on the board. Maybe you have a Shambling Gas or an Eye Twitch laying around, Skullport Merchant. You just start sacrificing them, putting them in the graveyard, making more demons, and then... Eventually, you can reanimate those back if you want. Tox Roller Corrosive. Nasty if you can stabilize versus aggro. Once this hits the board, if it stays for a turn or two, the game's usually over. 
We have one man land from D&D, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. We can afford to do that because black is the heaviest color in our deck. We don't really want to sacrifice our lands to start bringing in all the Storm Giants. Things like that complements, complicates the mana base. So we run Hive of the Eye Tyrant, one basic island. This is important because in order to grab a land with Dig Up, it needs to be a basic land. So make sure that if you're building any variants on this, you have at least one of each basic land. Island, four swamps, forest, four pathways, two marshes, uh, four pathways here, four pathways here, and two dream root cascades. We're not running all of the dual lands from Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow, just a few of them to balance out our mana base. As far as the sideboard, we have environmental sciences. Good to go grab on turn two. If you have forest in a swamp, you can grab that island. Teachings of the Archaics, where we need card draw. Our opponents ahead of us, Necrotic Fumes for exiling Planeswalkers, and problematic things like, oh, what's his name? I can't remember. Edgar, Charm Groom. Things that when they die, they tend to come back. We want Necrotic Fumes to exile. Containment Breach for getting rid of artifacts and enchantments. Pest Summoning for putting some chaff creatures on the field when you're behind. Chump Blockers so you can stabilize. Mascot Exhibition to help you fi finish the game when you can't find one of your big 7-drop creatures and confront the past for destroying Lolths and Sorens and Kayas and Tybalts and all those Planeswalkers that our opponents like to play against us. So, if you like the deck, please enjoy the video. If you enjoy the deck and the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. All right, let's get into it. Sultai Reanimator. Let's go. Opponent goes first. A couple of options. We can play... Actually, we'll play Bark Channel Pathway on green. We'll dig up probably a swamp. Play that. Shambling Gas. Then play this on three. And then grab old Stick Fingers. Should be all right. We have the ability to dig up a land. There's a hive. All right, so we'll play this on one. Dig up an island. So we have two swamps now. Okay. It's going down with the hive. Let's go in with ghast. We have two of our big bombs in our hand, and we only have three of them in the deck. That's kind of crazy. We might just hard cast them. Do it the old-fashioned way. All right, let's go in here. Let's go in with Farmer. We'll grab Dream Root Cascade, put it back in the hand, go in for one. Guess we'll Deadly Dispute the Ghast. And make two treasure tokens. Let's play this, so let's go in. Since we have two of our big bombs in our hand, I guess we just wait. That's four mana available now. If we deadly dispute the gas, that's five. Then a treasure token makes six. Island makes seven next turn for demon or holebreaker. So we'll just wait. Okay, they just didn't get lands, I guess. All right, that's game one. Game two, here we go. All right, we have all three colors of lands, and then we have a ghast and a deadly dispute. We're on the play, seems pretty good. We need to get an eccentric farmer or something that's going to allow us to mill some stuff because we have a diagraph rebirth. So being that we only have one source of green in our deck, let's cast this on black. Okay, a little infernal grasp drawn for instant speed interaction. We like that. 
cast this on green. Chill out. Skull scob. Okay. They're going to exploit their ghast. Okay, so they're going to be blue black aggressive zombies, huh? Okay, let's do this. Treasure. Toxril, you like to see that. We need a black source, so let's go in. Or we need a blue source, excuse me. Let's go with an island, and let's go with a shambling ghast. Next, we save Infernal Grasp using our treasure, and we hopefully we don't have to, and next turn we use a Massacre to kill whatever they have. Hopefully they don't draw uh, drop a Headless Rider on us. If they do, we'll just kill something immediately. Because Headless Rider will be trouble. But other than that, we're not really worried about anything else. Yeah, I don't think we're worried about that. Lancer. We'll let that go. We'll get it with the meat hook next turn. Attacking. I mean, we could even just wait and get it with... That's seven right there. Depends on if they have an Infernal Grasp in hand. If they don't, we could just drop Toxril right now, but... I don't think we do that. I think we get the meat hook out first. Or we could drop Toxor, let him kill it, then Diagraph Rebirth it. That sounds fun. Do that. Okay, it goes away. It's gone. We can take some hits here, I think. Seem to be quite aggressive, so I think they'll probably commit to the board a little bit more. We do have two meat hooks in hand. If we draw a mana, we can use that. Or we can just rebirth the tox roll back. Um, farmer's fine. Hopefully we mill a land. Wanted to untap land, but I think that's okay. Exploit the Lancer. Make some zombies. I think we're okay with that. Now we don't have really have enough life to just rebirth Toxra right now and risk it getting killed. So we're just going to go like this. Clear out the board. Gain some life back. Sarak. Do we just kill that now? Probably. Okay, 
Okay, here's an eye twitch. Let's do this. Let's go in with the co with the hive. Get rid of their cobbled lancer. We don't want them drawing a card, and we'll just set up. Set up to drop a bomb. Merchant. Okay. Well, as long as they don't have any board presence, we'll just keep going in. They have a tox roll. Okay. Rough. Make a slug. Let's grab necrotic fumes. We'll sack this treasure right here. Grab a land. And necrotic fumes on the toxril. Sacking the farmer. Swamp. And we'll say go. Got a hole breaker in the graveyard. That's nice. Hmm. Sorcery. Okay. Blue source. Let's dig up a dreadfast demon. Dread feast demon. Pardon me. Necro duality. Wish I bet they wish they had that earlier. That sucks. Let's do it. Unleash the demon. Oh yes. We don't want a hole breaker and a dreadfast demon in our opening hand, guys. Come on. There's only three bombs in the deck total. We keep drawing them. These are both seven drops. I don't think... I mean, I don't know. We have mana. We have Infernal Grasp and a Merchant. That's fine. We'll just hard cast them like the good old days, right? Okay, let's go black. And we'll play this on green and this on blue, I think. I think. Yeah, that seems right. Alright, green. And then one of these has to be on black so we can have double black. Okay, we'll let that go. It's not a problem. Um, play this on blue. Skullport to block. They're gruel. They want to be going fast, right? Block here. Take two. Okay, here's a Behold the Multiverse. Let's go... Black. Foretell that. If a huge bomb comes up, we can Infernal Grasp. If not, we can just block, take two or three more damage, and then we can Behold, draw maybe a Meat Hook, and set us up. We'll just chill. Depends on what they drop. If they drop a nice, tasty Halan on Alina Partners or an Ovenwald Oddity or something like that, we'll want to go ahead and Infernal Grasp something. 
plus two plus oh there. Um, okay. Think we're okay to chill. Counter goes there. That's eight. So we're going to need to be able to meat hook if we draw it for three. It means we have to draw a land too. Actually, we... It's hard to say. We better do this. Let's take for now. That's on black. See what they play. We took the four because if they drop a bomb, we want to be able to block this with the skull port. Coming in. Looks like they don't have anything bomb worthy right now. So let's block here. What are we doing? Gonna buff up the creature? Field of Ruin to take out our only green mana. Okay, let's tap that. Let's tap this. Let's sacrifice this. We draw a farmer. Okay. We'll grab this forest then. Seeing if I was seeing if we would draw a forest. Sacrificing that. A veil to kill the skull port. Okay. I think we're fine with that. Alright, let's behold. Five five mana. We need a mana. What's in our graveyard? Graveyard, please. Skullport Merchant. What's going on with this? I can't see my library. Is this a bug? Okay, that's not... Very cool. Uh, am I missing something here? I can't see the library to scry. Guess we'll take... We'll do that. I don't know. Wasn't the coolest thing ever. Skullport's the only thing we have. Alright, let's go Farmer. Guess we'll return a hive. We'll say go. We'll sack the farmer to deadly dispute, and then we should be low throwing down a demon or a hole breaker. Like to have something to sack to the demon. Merchant. Okay, let's just let them go. We'll try to cast a hole breaker, ambush one of their things, kill it. I doubt they have any way to deal with that in Gruel Colors with three lands, but they may. Maybe they put a Veil on that. I 
Actually, Veil wouldn't have helped anyway. Alright, so let's see what they can do. Another Ranger class. Go, Skullport Merchant. Turn this to hand. Farmer, in. Turn to hand. Okay. Guess we'll take Arc Channel. Um, yep, let's go in. I doubt they're going to have a, f a way to kill both of our things. Block with the farmer. Sack farmer. Meat hook. Doesn't really help us right now, but that's fine. What do we have in the yard? Anything? Not really anything good. Um, I think it's time. I think it's time to get gnarly. Return. I guess they could have another veil. Hmm. Return that. Demons and horrors and... Stick finger man. That's a horror too. Horror, horror, demon. Yes. That could be enough. They didn't get they didn't get a lot of lands, in fairness, but you know, that's the way it goes. Stick fingers, you'll go away. Okay, in. Good game. They didn't draw a lot of lands. Three and O trying to make it four and O. We'll see whether or not that happens. We have no black mana at all. Have to mulligan that. Um, we could do farmer on three, save stick fingers for four, mill a couple things. Try to rebirth. This doesn't look particularly strong, but that's okay. So, we need to keep our green land. Let's... Let's put Agademes away. Just in case we draw a one drop. Okay. Well, throw it on Marsh. Boulder and Estate. Interesting. There's a vampire. Cascade comes down. Next to our green source. So, in this case, we don't need to play. We'd rather have two black and have a green source on three. So, let's go black here. 
Might have to do something about this. Yeah, let's do something about this. We can take the ghast all day, not a big deal. But we don't want big vampires coming in with counters on them. Like that. Okay, Cascade, Farmer. Hmm, yep, we'll take this Cascade again. We have one creature in the graveyard. Now we'll have two. Okay. Let's put out stick fingers, mill a couple things, and then hopefully next turn we can bring a big thing back. Like Toxril. Toxril's nice. So they can hit us with Falconrath Forebear, but they cannot hit us with Florian, which is cool. Now they can hit us with everything. Okay. See if we can stabilize. We'll see if it's enough. If they don't have instant speed removal, that means Toxroll kills the Ghast and the Forebear. Well, now they definitely don't. Um, let's play this on black. We have two green sources. Rebirth. Toxroll. We're back, baby. Slugs to spare. So hopefully we can block Stabilize here and cast Behold the Multiverse, draw a couple cards next turn. And then we should be chugging away. Not sure if they have something to deal with Toxrill or not, but we might be able to Diagraph Rebirth it back. Couple of sluggy boy chump blockers. Falconrath Forebear can't come back. So if it does, it'll just die. Two life blood tokens. Okay. They are red. I mean, they could just burn us out by doing that. I think that's probably what they want to try to do, is just keep hitting us with Vampire's Kiss or getting a few extra damage in here and there. They might do it. Never know, but a Dreadfast Demon would be sick right now with these slugs. All right. Put on black. Portel. They have no land to be able to attack us with, so let's. I'm afraid we're if we're gonna sit here too long, we're gonna keep. Losing life by Vampire's Kiss and stuff like that, so let's go in. No reason that they shouldn't block here.
Nice. Oh, we can't do it yet. Nice, so they can get in for three in the air. Let's get dig up. We'll try to find a demon so we can block this thing. Could be too late though, because they'll keep bringing it back. Or we could find an eye twitch too, that would help. I think we might die if we don't find a flyer. That's tough. Gotta find a flyer. Preferably a dreadfast demon. But I will accept an eye twitch. They could also just vampires kiss us right here and kill us. There's an Agademe, so what do we have in here? We do not have a flyer in there. We can dig one up, I guess. Three mana to play with. No reason not to attack here and here. Okay. Let's see if they can do it. We can currently block the vampire forebear. Oh, they didn't bring it back in time anyway. They didn't have blood tokens. All right. They can hit us for one if they take out our eye twitch. 
Or if they draw a vampire's kiss from that. I'm sure somewhere along the line I could have played something better here. Gonna be close. Nope, couldn't do it. I was close though. Four no, let's see if we can make it five. This looks good as a start. Shambling Ghast and an Eye Twitch. That'll give us a treasure we can use for green mana if needed be. Yeah. I think this looks nice. Ghast first. Okay. I don't think we'll need to... S well... Yeah, let's place on blue. Let's hold up the Eye Twitches for now. I think we can get one damage in without being too worried about a hasty threat on turn two could be wrong but i think it's probably gonna be like ranger class or something yeah okay all right let's do this treasure that is what you are forest you're my shining star hmm so, I guess it's Merchant. They attack in, get a mana, we we bounce blockers. They play like Tobolar or something, then we drop a meat hook on them. Seems good. We got a lot of treasure already. Storm Seeker. Okay. There. In with both. Mana. What do they choose? Green? Yeah. For a snakeskin veil, maybe? We don't care. If they veil on that to kill the merchant, we're fine with it. Okay. Alright. Another meat hook. like to have another black mana and not use the treasure on it but i think it's probably still worth it at this point i don't know can we wait another turn or do they tobolar and then they get something through i don't let's just wait let's just play eccentric farmer set up our lands or none because we didn't mill any lands all right that's fine, I think. They give this plus one, plus zero. We kill it, and we chump, or we trade bounce there. I think we're okay with that. I just draw another black source, and then we can save our treasures. That would be really cool. I guess if they play Arlen, the packs hope we have something to worry about. Unless, that, I guess if they make the two wolves, we're fine, because we can meat hook them out. We just need to stop it from becoming night, is the thing. Yes, counter. We're going hasty wolf. Where's the counter? There. Okay, that's good. That means our meat hook will only need to be three instead of four, like they would have put on the Storm Seeker. So. We'll go here and here. Okay, we're good. Yes, black source. Go in. For three. 
We like it. And then we'll chill. We don't have anything good in the graveyard yet, but we, we're close to heart being able to hard cast any of our big threats, so that's cool. Tobalor comes down. As does Kessig Naturalist. Okay, three werewolves. Yeah, if you control three werewolves, you can make it night. Okay, let me remember that. Um... Beginning of what? Your upkeep? So, that's fine. Let's grab, let's make this big, big beastie. Here, 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 and here. Okay, two. We milled out a hole breaker. We'll play an eye twitch. That's a big, uh, that's a big horror right there. Dreadfeast, Dreadfeast Demon would be a hell of a pull here. We play two eye twitches, or another eye twitch, and then a demon. Then we just go to town, go to work. We'll see what we pull. It'll be interesting. I'm excited to see what we can do here. We have a hole breaker in the yard, meaning if we if we uh, get Diagraph Rebirth, we'll be good. Toxril. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, let's do it. We're good. Let Toxril eat. Seven mana available for opponent. They can play things off the top of their library. Next turn, if Toxril survives, we may drop the meat hook and just accelerate the board clearing. And then go in with stick fingers and Toxril. Get a lesson off the eye twitch. Maybe grab a mascot or something. In. Meaning what? They want the mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll block here. Okay, this makes it have trample. So they can make it deal... 1, 2, 3, 6 to us. And then... They draw a card. I think that's probably fine. That's when they spend their whole turn. We'll go to 12, they'll draw a card. But... Ultimately, they're not, uh... Adding to their board presence. Let's grab, how many cards do they have? Two? Grab Mascot. The Agademes. Alright, so let's do it.
start being aggressive. Got a couple slugs to block. Our hole breaker is just kind of sitting in the yard like... What's going on? Tendrils. Gain some life. Slime. Good game. We were able to stabilize a little bit. Okay. I twitch in Deadly Dispute. That's a good turn one and two, but we have a Behold. We have two Beholds, which could be a good thing if we draw a an island or blue source. I guess if we don't, we have a Skull Port on turn three that can give us an island as a treasure. So I think we're okay with this. We can also deadly dispute that I Twitch grab a, an environmental sciences to grab what we need. All right, so now let's go in. See if it's mono white. Looks like it is. Oh, rally the ranks. So it's mono or it's white, probably mono white tribal. I'm going to say probably spirits. If I had to guess. Human. Okay. Environmental sciences. Okay, there's blue source. So let's go blue. Let's go eye twitch. And we'll go grab a green uh, forest. That way we have everything. Okay. Big humans. Gotcha. Kind of scary. Forest merchant. Uh, yeah. Let's use a treasure to foretell this. Probably fine. We have another land we're dropping next turn. No attacks. Lesnia humans, probably. So we need to draw a meat hook rather quick. Rather quickly. Let's go Shambling Ghast. We will foretell this. We'll keep up Infernal Grasp in case they play like Sigarda or something crazy, something big. Otherwise, we'll behold the multiverse. See if we can draw a Meat Hook. They have the opportunity to draw a lot of cards off these wedding announcements, though, too. Could get kind of gross. Our hope is that there's Sigarda. I knew it. Okay, let's let him attack first. They're not activating Coven, so. so these are all going to be two twos. The hopeful initiate's going to be a th two three. Let's block. I guess we just still block all of these like this. 
And then we grasp out Sigarda. We create a treasure because we're gonna behold the multiverse like rather quickly here. Uh, let's grab. Pest summoning. Put some trash on the board to stall out. I don't think we need. I don't think we want either of those. We want a meat hook. We can behold, or we can grasp, or we can deadly dispute. Depending on what they do is what we'll need to do. Usher. Okay, that's a spirit, so it actually doesn't benefit from this Rally of the Ranks. Coming in. Alright, here, here, here. Dispute one of these guys, make a treasure. We need a meat hook, first of all, because the creatures, and second of all, because they keep drawing cards. They drew a card off of this. Two cards, or one, this turn. Okay. Um, okay. Stick fingers. It's a 3-3. Three, three, as it stands right now. So let's do this for zero. And then we'll save Infernal Grasp and Behold the Multiverse mana. That's going to be humans again. Woo! That's a lot of damage. Sure. So let's go here. Let's go here. Sign blocks. Let's burn out the initiate. No. We need a specific thing. Need the meat hook. Land. Bird five. That was definitely not it. Well, we can grasp here. And diagraph for four. I think we're done. Skullport can't diagraph again. Were we gonna draw a meat hook anytime soon? Nope, farmer. All right, good game on that one. Woo, those got big. Okay, we have a blue source, green, two black if we need them. We have a dig up if we need to get something else, rebirth and grasp. I think we're okay here. I 
Mm-hmm. There's that meat hook we needed last game. All right, let's go swamp and let's foretell this. I doubt they're gonna drop anything we need to grasp on turn three. Zorn. Zorn could be gross. Um, drop this on black, right? Yeah, we probably grasped the Zorn. Let's let it go for now. See what else they drop. Another one. Alright. Mm-hmm. Guess we'll play this on green. And then we'll let them get some treasures, because we can't keep getting hit. Windfall. They make some treasures, but not a ton. Like, if they would have had two Zorns out, that's nice. Stick fingers. Yeah, probably. Seems good, considering we have a Dire Graph Rebirth in hand. See what we can put in the yard. Just a couple farmers, but that's okay. Elaine, more treasure. I feel like a gold span's gonna come soon. Oh, Maniform Hellkite. Alright. So. Let's get an eye twitch. To block the big flyer. Let's dig up. A land. And then hopefully next turn, we can block with the eye twitch here. We can behold, grab a land, and hopefully we can grab demon. Hopefully. There's a windfall. Making a 4-4. Four, four. This could get nasty really quickly. The user treasures again. Let's block here. And let's behold right now. Five, six. We'll take this land. Seven. Can we take the chance of casting a mascot to try to block this? And then next turn, demon. Or do we just make two big demons now? And then we cast a shambling gas, maybe a mascot next turn? Yeah, that seems good. Seems good. They could come in with the Den of the Bugbear. I guess they could just blast us with, like, 
crackle with power or something, right? Oh, yeah. Good game. Ouch. Bravo. Nasty. Okay, two eye twitches. We'll grab some early lessons. We'll try it. We'll play this on black. That way we have Dream Root Cascade to come in as our blue and green source. There's nothing in this deck that takes double blue or double green except one thing, which is Holebreaker Horror, which takes double blue. We'll play this on black. Shade. Block the shade. See what else they've got going on. This looks interesting. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I'm not sure why they took out that one that was tapped. There's probably a reason. Grab pest summoning. And then here we'll grab environmental sciences. Throw this down. Throw this down. We'll grab... Thin out our deck a little bit. We'll grab our... Island. Stinger. Exploiting itself. Draw a couple cards. Okay. What's the kicker on this? Three. They have some graveyard interaction. That's for sure. Shy about using the removal on tokens. You know what, I don't really want to do this, but let's rebirth our eye twitch. Because we're getting awfully close to casting mascot exhibition. 
And we don't have much else going on right now, so... Cube to take out the eye twitch. Alright. Dream root. Meat hook for three. Could bring back a ghast, but why? Right? Just leave it alone. They put the sword on it. Alright. So they have graveyard interaction, which kind of sucks. But if we eccentric farmer, we mill something good out, we can bring it back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we can bring it back if we cast Agademes. Uh, that's an instant. That sucks. Okay. Let's see what we can do. That's our only course of action. Stick fingers. Just hang out. Try to see if they'll use the Rotten Reunions just to get the zombies and get rid of our ghasts and stuff. Get rid of Diagraph. Yeah, that's smart. Why didn't I think of that? There we go. Take a couple damage. Draw some cards. block here. Nice to draw one of our big bombs. Dispute works, though, too. Let's go in for one. Dispute. Mascot. Diagraph Rebirth. Put that out to block. They don't have mana to stop us. But we don't have anything we really want to bring back. But if we rebirth and get a farmer back and we mill a few good things... Then they can take out our rebirth. <laughs> Alright, so this is the way. We need to wait for them to use Rotten Reunion to make another zombie. So that way we can rebirth. Grab a farmer, rebirth again, play our bomb. Reanimation. Flipping it to Halvar, but he doesn't have haste. So, what's the deal there? I think we're good. Alright, there's Toxril. So what happens if we attack in with everything? They block here, and then they take... Six? Am I wrong in thinking that? Yeah, that should be it. Good game. This is it. Game 7. Yeah, I think, I think we're okay with this. Let's try to draw a land so we can get out Eccentric Farmer or Skullport, and I think we're good.
So we'll play this on black, this on green. We draw land, great. If we don't, maybe we'll draw deadly speed or something. Perfect. We'll play this on green. Don't need blue yet. Grasp. So they're playing Slesnia. Black merchant. And they have red now. Interesting. Game seven. Two cards foretold. What could they be? Let's not play stick fingers, because if they're doom scars or something. We don't want this wiped out. We want the board wiped, then bring this in. So let's play... Go in first. Play Farmer. Okay, we grab a Diagraph, Rebirth, and Mill Out. Eccentric Farmer and an Eye Twitch. Like that. Not bad. Crush the Weak. Two damage to each creature. Exile it instead. Is this... Okay, let's do this then. We'll grab environmental sciences, because I'm sure they're going to play another Crush the Week or something that clears our whole board. But we want to hit our land drops. Another one, probably. Yeah. All right. We have an eye twitch and a farmer. We could agadeem something back in a little bit. Let's play this on blue. And since we have diagraph available, we have five. Play stick fingers and let them make them deal with it. Milled out a hole breaker. That's nice. So the hole breaker is a threat to come back, but they also have to deal with our 6-6. Six, six. Tovalor. Can grasp that if we need to. Let's go in, because I think we'll have enough removal and chump blockers to stop Tovalor. They take that. Alright, let's go Ghast. And then we'll tap our blue and our green to get sciences, to grab a land. We'll grab a... That doesn't really matter. I guess we'll grab a swamp. And then we'll just hold up Grasp if we need to use it. And then next turn we can Diagraph Rebirth the Hole Breaker if we want to. Crush the Weak. Alright. Stormseeker? Okay. Where's the hasty and plus one going on the Stormseeker? All right. Okay, we don't want him drawing cards, so Tovalar needs to die. Could have a snake skin. Okay. It's all right. So we'll go in with stick fingers. They'll be at four. And then we can massacre and kill both of their creatures. I think that's probably the play. Is 
And then ours survives. Play Hive. In case we need to get a menace threat in there to deal lethal. Ill-tempered loner. Yeah, that's a good one. What are the options here? So one of our creatures dies, an opponent loses a life. So if we go in with Hive of the Eye Tyrant, they can't block the Hive, meaning if they double block the Hive, they die. Because it has Menace. If they block Old Stick Fingers with Ill-Tempered Loner, they can't block the Hive. And then if Ill-Tempered Loner kills one of our creatures, they die. So this is the play, I think. Yeah, they die now. All right. Yeah, it's 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 hard to remember about the meat hook, but figure that was probably the best play. All right, that's game seven, seven and two. Sultai Reanimator. All right, so Sultai Reanimator. We did seven and two when we were at five wins. We lost two in a row, and I was like, maybe we'll go five and three or six and three. But we did end up pulling out the seven wins. Let's go over the deck one more time. Post game thoughts, maybe some edits here and there. Um, I think everything performed pretty well. Stick Fingers performs pretty well when you can mill out a lot of creatures, and he's like pretty big. Um, and that's. Providing that you some fodder for Diagraph Rebirth. It's a fun deck. And I think it can take people off guard because they see you milling things, but they're not quite sure exactly what you're going to do. And then Diagraph Rebirth can come in and do some work. If you did watch all seven of the games, I was actually surprised at the amount of times we were able to hard cast Toxrill, the Demon, and Holebreaker Horror. Uh... I foresaw us using Diagraph Rebirth maybe after combat going in. They block some things. You know, it gets cheaper maybe for three or four. Didn't have to do that in all the cases. We were able, if we just ramp up with some treasures, to just cast these outright, which is always a good thing. It means that you're not dependent solely on the reanimator strategy. Dig Up, I think, really performed well here. There was a game where we had to dig up a Dreadfast Demon. We actually did win by digging up oddly enough, paying four to cleave it and digging up the eye twitch against that Rakdos deck just to get a flyer, make sure that they couldn't get those last points of damage in. Um, I think Meat Hooks definitely needed... I would have liked to have had probably six board wipes in here. The only other board wipe in black, though, is Blood on the Snow, which we're not running snow. I guess we could, but... Um, something to think about. Behold the Multiverse, I think, is okay. There might be another card draw spell that is released in Kamigawa that we could replace it with. But I think for the most part, the deck is fine. Um, maybe we need one more farmer just to keep that graveyard going. Because we don't have any cards that make us discard things, which would be nice. Right? So let's say that you have a Dreadfeast Demon or a Tox Roll of Corrosive in your hand early and you want to get rid of it. It's kind of stuck in our hand. So if you're looking on building a variant of this deck, it might be nice to have some sort of a, a black card in hand where it has an effect, maybe kill a creature and discard a card. Some of the vampire things are like that. That way you can get it into the graveyard so you can reanimate it. But overall, it did go 7-2. and two. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have a comment, please drop it below. I'm good about answering comments and I want to hear from you. I want to hear your opinions, good or bad. Also, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. 
and subscribe to the channel it helps to support me and help me bring you more content i really really enjoy the community that we've been building here and i've gotten a lot of good comments from people deck lists to try things like that and i want to keep that going so subscribe for new future notifications and uh, i will see you next time thank you very much and take care